Welcome back, friends. Graz here, showing you my house design that, I don't know, just kind of came together. Maybe I'll do a little bit more tweaking if I feel the need, but right now, it, it feels like it fits the deed. It suits its purpose well, I suppose. The main thing I like is having all my storage, like, right over here. That way I can go ahead and... I have all my chests sorted to some degree, so I know what I need. This chest has all my stackables. Things that I can do for crafting, or... You get the idea. It's basically crafting crap. Here's all my accessories, whether they go on my accessory bar or up in my tool thing. I have, like, the, the shiny balloon, the clown in the bottle, good stuff like that. This beach ball, I, I don't even know what it is. It's a fun thing you just throw around. We have all of our little reagents and such. We have our seeds. So we have a chest for those. We have a chest for magical crap and, of course, our souls. Gotta have a chest for souls. We also have a chest for potions now. And this one's empty. This is my temple chest. Not that it matters. I only got a few things from the temple, so whatever. My red crimson chest holds all my weapons and armor. As you can see, I don't have much in there yet. I gotta find out what happened to my Maramasa. I lost my Maramasa somewhere. Who knows? And of course, I have my my jungle chest, which is used for building material. So I have like wood and all my walls and stone bricks and all that good crap. Keep it all in there. My living wood chest is kind of like dirt and stuff. So yeah, that's all right there. Other than that, that's all my storage. Of course, I keep a chest down here in my crafting room, so that way I can put all my ores and crap in there. Right next to my orichalcum anvil and my adamantite furnace. Everything works good down here. As you can see, got it in some kind of order. I'm proud of myself. Oh, there's some more weapons down here. Oh, another blood butcher. Okay, so I had two of them. Still can't find my Maramasa. Anyway... A viewer had a pretty interesting idea, a really great idea, I liked it, and I think I'm gonna go roll with it. Starting tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do another playthrough of Terraria 1.2, but this time we're gonna set a rule on there. We're gonna start with magic. Like, I'll start off with the basic stuff, we'll do that, but I wanna do magic. Like, right now I do melee and range. Magic and range seems like more of a thing. It sounds more of a challenge, instead of just keep, like, going back between all three. So I'm going to limit, if not completely block out, my melee. And uh, we'll call it some kind of magic series, like Terraria 1.2 Magical Mayhem, or Terraria 1.2 Magical Mischief. I don't know. We'll come up with something. We'll make the name work. If you want to throw some suggestions in, I'd love to hear from you. Comment section, put them suggestions in there, and uh, we'll go over them. With the new series, cancel this one out? Not necessarily. Maybe I would make less episodes for this, as I would do more for that, to kind of balance things out. Yeah, probably. I could probably do more in the beginning than I could do here, because right now, endgame, I'm kind of searching for different things. Like, I'm trying to max out my armor, trying to max out all my accessories, get more things, and it takes a little bit longer, and some of these episodes kind of take more... How should I put this? Not really effort, but it's more time-consuming. And with YouTube's processing time being funky as it is, I'm already hurting way well beyond what it is. So, at least with those, I'll be able to rock and roll and get those out to you. We'll have an interesting challenge list, so that way we could be like, hmm... Instead of just using melee, we'll use magic and make it a little bit more interesting. And we'll do it all from the beginning as well. I'll also start off with a new character. I won't use Graz, the one I'm using right now. We'll make Captain Rob Scoozy, the magical pirate chef dude guy. Whatever. It'll be the adventures of Captain Rob Scoozy as he learns the magical ways. Become a magical pirate of mayhem. And I'm sure that'll go over really well, right? Oh, look at all this. We just had a blood moon, and the blood moon was kind of subpar. Not much was really going on. I mean, when you're up here, what are they going to do? Throw fe feathers at you. Occasionally, the sky dragon comes by, but he's nothing now. He's like a drop in a bucket. It's like, whatever, dude. Actually, if I had spelunking potions right now, what I'm thinking is I could go get some more or more ore, but I don't think I have any of them. Well, I guess we'll have to come up with something and I'll be right back. Well, I wanted to go ahead and craft some spelunker potions, but unfortunately I don't have enough ore for it. I have zero ore for it, so that kind of sucks. As you can see, I'm mining the chlorophyte ore. That's ultimately what I wanted to do. I'm trying to craft the turtle armor. We don't really need the turtle armor, but I mean, come on, it's awesome. It's freaking turtle armor. It's, like, one of the most defensive armors in the game. 
it gives you something like over 90 defense, which is really sick. I mean, I beat this with the Halo armor. Well, I beat all the newer bosses with the Halo armor, so... As long as you're pretty much well geared with offense, who needs defense? As they say, good defense is a freaking well awesome offense. Uh, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna get this chest. Not even worth it. Oh, so much crap. We gotta go ahead and try to find some more platinum, if I can find it anywhere. If not, more core fight will do. Because, I mean, that's ultimately what I'm trying to go for here, right? Ow! This freaking whole area is just one big train wreck of mush. I don't even know if I'm gonna find anything down here. We've done been in this bloody jungle so many freaking times, it's not even funny. Done some exploring. We found the little beehives. Finding absolutely nothing down here. Get out of here. So I just simply spam all my freaking vampire knives. These things are so sick. Anything else? Yeah, you're not gonna be friendly. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. I, no, we are not gonna go with that ore. We've got plenty of you. I couldn't give you away if I tried. That old Richium ore is just so freaking... It's everywhere in my, my chest. Turtles. I got enough turtle shells. Ironically, you only need, like, what? Three or four turtle shells for it? So it's not like you gotta go out and kill a whole bunch of them. It's easily farmable. You just gotta get a couple, and you're good to go. You just gotta get the chlorophyte bars for it, which really ain't easy. It takes, what, six chlorophyte ore to make one chlorophyte bar, which means you're gonna need a freaking boatload of ore to make one bar. Come on, come on, come on. I think to make the armor set, you need, like, 40 or 50-something? I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. You need a good amount of bars, though. So, the task is not easy. Speaking of which, what are you? Oh, I believe that is platinum. You need that platinum for Spelunker potions. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. So, at some point here, we'll go ahead and make those. That way we can make the ore stand out. We can grab all the good stuffs. Progressing along very nicely, I might add. There's some more life fruit up top. I can barely just see it. The only thing is that we don't need it. Now the turtle's blocking it. There we go. Get out of the way. Freaking turtle. Ah, never mind. Yep. Can't use it. No more than 500. Oh, well. It's nice to be loaded up and not have to use it. Get out of here, you freaking turtle. Of course, getting the turtle shells isn't easy because they don't drop as plainly as other things. Anything else over here? No. Silver bullet. Ooh. Never mind. Uh, did I get that chest before? I believe I got that chest. Dude, knock it off. Seriously. Have a piranha in your face, fool. Yeah, say you like them. Apples or piranhas. Heh <laughs> heh. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Cobalt. Don't need that. Cobalt is highly overrated. But you know what? I'll build something with it. Why not? When in doubt, why leave it there? Get out of the way! Get out of the freaking way! Arrgh! Yeah. Alright, so I was recently notified... Okay, maybe not so much recently notified, but still... Purple Space Program has their campaigns mode up. So I want to go ahead and do an episode or two of that... ...to show people how that's going. The last time I played Kerbal, they didn't have the, uh... ...programs up. The campaign mode up. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. That's gotta be pretty awesome. Of course, I'm not great at it, but I am great at failing, so we'll see how that goes. Right? Get out of here. Well, I may have accidentally woken Plantera again. One of his bulbs was around the area, so... Broke it, whatever. He's here. Not even too worried about him, because, I mean, look. I'm just gonna stand here. He's gonna do his thing, and that's just gonna be that. There's not much else to it. I do wanna get the tour fight over there. I gotta get to it. Can I just get, like, right here? Yeah, there we go. Alright, come on, Planetary. You're just getting in my way now. So once we kill him, we'll get whatever he has to offer. Might be something good. Maybe something not so other. I don't know. I just he's dropping really quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Under a thousand. Done. There we go. What the heck is a warp gun? He just dropped a warp gun. Oh, wasp gun. Warp gun. Look, warp, wasp, it is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, my backpack is so freaking full. Again, look at all this crap. More chests to go home and dust up the whole area. 
Temple key we don't need. Get out of here, dick. Seriously. Give me this. Core fight war is what I'm here for. Not these wasps. Take you. What's well, ten, ten ore? That'll give me one bar. Go figure. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to go home and put all this crap away. At some point, we'll come back and have to grab some more, or make a Spelunker potion, one or the other. Oh my goodness. It's everywhere. So much crap. Oh look! There's another bulb of Plantera. Dude is everywhere. You can always break it again and farm him again. Not that it's too bad, you know. Anything worth it? Eh, why not? Have some fun with it. Uh, anything over here? No, not so much. Another chest. I don't need any more chests, though. I got so many, it's not even funny. Alright, dude. Anything? No. Any more ores? No. Alright. So I guess we'll just have to go ahead and make Spelunker Potion after we kill him. We'll go around searching. Alright, dude. Seriously, let's just make this quick. Wrap it up. No. I guess I'll just float here so that way he don't go down. That way, that way he's not gonna get lost in the dirt and I won't have to keep waiting for him to come back. It'll be so easy this way. I feel kind of bad for making him look bad like this. I feel like a dick. But I mean, come on, it's plain terror. I mean, the thing deserves it. And of course, the music's nice too. If anyone can actually hear it over me blubbering. There we go, 10,000. Yeah, he's already gone down for the count. All right, big boy, you had a fun run. Now it's time to go. And two, one. See ya. You think good? Grenade launcher. Eh, well. I guess so. We ain't gonna do any of that. Oh, there's a grenade. Oh crap! Don't come back. Oh well. Get out of here. I will blow you all up with the grenade launcher. Oh, that could be fun! That reminds me, I gotta go ahead and make a shotgun still. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, might as well go home.